In this video, I'm going to show you yet another way you can use Visual Web Optimizer, or VWO, to do an easy split test without recreating other pages. What you are looking at right now is one of my previous campaigns, and I'm going to use this as an example. This is a split test for a landing page. As you can see here, it has a 61% conversion. So what this means is that for every 100 visitors, 61 people actually put in their name and email address to join the mailing list. Depending on what niche you're in, you will definitely have certain goals or expectations to get conversion rate. So, generally speaking for landing pages in the internet marketing world, I will strive to get at least 20% conversion. If I do 20% and above, I think I'm doing good. You can expect the number to be higher in other niches, but again, this is up to the market that you're in. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you how you can quickly edit and create as many variations of your landing page that you can split test. Either you can create a new campaign altogether and select the A-B test option, or you already have an existing campaign that you can just edit it right away. And go to Edit in Campaign Builder. I am going to show you how easy this is and why using VWO is really awesome compared to using the likes of Google Analytics, even though it's free. But the problem with Google Analytics is that it is very complicated and I really don't recommend it for most beginners. So as you can see here, this is one of my landing pages that I am editing right now. There is this thing called Control, which is the original website and Variation 1 is the second website that you would like to test on. Click on Variation 1 and you can choose to edit any one of the elements on the landing page. I can choose to edit the headline. I can even choose to edit the text over here by clicking on this text and click the word Change Text. So I'm going to make something up right now. Once you've made your changes, click on Done and I've already made a change. Again, bear in mind, when it comes to split testing, you want to change only one major element at a time. You don't want to change too many things, or even two things for that matter, because when one page converts better than the other, you don't know exactly why, because there are so many variables that you've changed. Back to this, you can click on Add Variation, and you will see that the page has gone back to the original page. And you can start making changes again. I will just click here and edit the words, and click on Done. Remember, you can change anything else on your own landing page. Let's just say that this is the variation that I want, and when I'm done, I'll click on Save and Continue, and I'm done. Then, I'm going to click on Start the Campaign, and I'll have this campaign up and start running again. That's how easy it is. You can see here the graph has changed. This is now a new split test in town, right now with the control being the original. And there is version 1 and version 2. Normally, I will have about at least 2, 3, or 4 split tests going on at the same time, with one major difference on each page. For example, it is usually the headline, so every page will have a different headline, and everything else will be the same. After split testing with at least a few hundred pages, I will find out the winner and I will remove the rest and use the winner to split test against other new headlines. That is how split testing is done. This way, you can easily optimize the conversions without waiting too long. I hope this helps. Have fun split testing and finding out your winning conversions.